Hi guys, we have a lot of natural light going on today. Um, I don't not like it though. I am filming next to the uh, window. So if you can hear outside, it's because it's outside of a window. Okay, so we're gonna get <laughs> past that. Um, happy belated fourth. I posted on the fourth, but forgot to say that because I had pre-filmed it. So we're doing empties that are non-bath and body works, but still body products and or fragrance products. Things that I have here, First thing I have is Pink's Oat Scrub, Oatmeal and Coconut Oil. And you guys, I waited for this to go 75% off online and it sold out. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes it's like that. Okay, so I'm not sad, but that smells so good. It smelled like a cookie. And although I'm not a gourmand in the shower person, like that was one of the few that I was like, actually, this smells really good. The texture of it's good. Their texture is also hit or miss, but um, I'm wondering how that's gonna be when they separate from Bath Body Works. This actually sounds like it has something in it. Oh my gosh. Sometimes I think my husband puts this stuff in here. So this is Febreze Air Jasmine and Lime and it smells so good. It was a limited edition. It says right there, limited edition. And I hope it comes back. I kind of wish there was some place to tell them that we really like this a certain scent. But yeah, so this is, I think I got this like two years ago. And I've been savoring it, like savoring it. it. Smells so good. The lime in this, amazing, mixed with the floral, perfect. Now, is it empty? That's a good question. The next thing I have is Jergens Extra Moisturizing Hand Wash, and this is the 7.5 ounces from Dollar Tree. This is so good. It smells just like the lotion, and I think this is going to be my signature kitchen scent moving forward because I do get my soap at Dollar Tree anyways. So I might as well just go ahead and purchase this soap consistently because sometimes the Dollar Tree hand soaps can be hit or miss, and that one's 100% a hit. There's a Yankee Candle and Vanilla Cupcake, and this is a car hangy. <laughs> I'm just gonna call it a car hangy. I don't know, but Vanilla Cupcake is, it was a little like, not stale smelling. I'm trying to think of the words. So it's like, you know how some buttercream has like a not sugary smell? It, I can't describe it. If you know what I mean, it's always vanilla buttercream though. It is never any other scent that kind of doesn't smell. It's just, it has that smell. It's kind of like store-bought buttercream, not from the jar in the aisle, but actually from like a cupcake that would have been there. And the one thing I can say about this, there was no cupcake in this. This is all the frosting. Like I don't understand this and these aren't that great. And I will not be repurchasing this. Yet. <laughs> this is technically a scent because it was the white jasmine. Now, I don't know if they still smell this, but this is Vagisil Sensitive. They put scent S E S C E N T. Um, and it's just V friendly. Uh, it's a bath bomb. It was supposed to be a bath bomb, and it smelled really good in the package. Couldn't smell it once it was in the water. So, would not repurchase. Won't be looking for that. The next thing I have is Money Bag, and it is by Posh Candle Co. She's a small shop, and this is an amber and coconut. The scent, though, is called Money Bag. Now that's gone. That's actually gone. Um, you guys, I don't like her. Actually, I don't think, either I don't like the combination of amber or coconut, or I don't like her amber, which is very likely, I'm very picky about amber scents, so there's that. She, um, I have had other items of hers pre- YouTube and I do like her company though. But I would not repurchase money bag in a scent. I would repurchase the Rose Price. The next thing I have is hand sanitizer from Bat from Victoria's Secret in Lemon Verbena. I do have to say their hand sanitizer scents are really good. And I did look at the, the semi-annual sale and they don't seem to have very many, but I know this is saying something really big, but I would purchase more of their hand sanitizers because the scent is really good. Like, I'm really shocked by this. I kind of just purchased them out of necessity, but come to find out, I really, really like them. So the next thing is, oh, I think I know what this is. This goes inside of here. So this is the top to a Bamboo Bliss song by Glade and this was supposed to be limited edition per this but it came back out this season so um although I really 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 like this it's really green like really grass green and I like it but I'm not sure it's the best for the guest bathroom um if it was in my bathroom I would put it in there so I have already repurchased the spray 
in Bamboo Bliss song, but I don't know if I would repurchase the plug-in. But yeah, I finished this and I finished two of these other things. I also finished, oh, this is just the bottom to that. Yeah, whoo, that's grass. It's like green grass with like a floral in the background. <laughs> the next thing I have is a car hangy and it is in Mentos Cherry. This knocked me and my husband almost straight out. We had to open the windows. And the weird part is I took this out and put it in the car before we got out of the car. So when we got back in the car, not the same day, but the uh, next day, if that, it was so strong of this, what is it? Candy, like cherry scent that like we were both very, very shocked because it was from Dollar Tree and Dollar Tree doesn't have the best hangy dollar car thingies. But this one wasn't Dollar Tree ran. That is usually how it goes. The next thing I have is a Yankee Candle Home Sweet Home. And how did I get through so many of these in July? In the summer, these fly. Like in the winter, I think I can get solid two weeks. In the summer, I can get a weekend. So I don't really drive that often either. So the fact that they go so fast is kind of frustrating. But if I put it in my car like a Thursday in the afternoon, I can get the weekend out of these. But this is Home Sweet Home. And again, it's my Yankee Candle. It had like a cinnamon, not like heavy cinnamon, but a, a soft cinnamon sugar smell, which I didn't not like, but I wouldn't repurchase this even in any other form. Not that I'm looking to repurchase these hangies from them anyways. I don't think it's them. I'm starting to think it's actually just that type of product though. The last thing I have is Bodycology and you guys know I hauled the mess out of these. Actually, I think, was that pre-YouTube for me? I actually, this is the shower cleansing jelly and coconut hibiscus. <laughs> and it's so good. And the texture is so good. But I do recommend that if you were to find these, again, they're hard to find. But if you were to find these, use it dry and then add water. I know that sounds weird, but it doesn't, it prevents the jelly from slipping. And that's not just this product, that's a jelly product thing. But this particular product, I found at Dollar Tree. A year ago I'm gonna say <laughs> if not a year and a half ago the smell is amazing the product is amazing and I kept waiting for somebody to come in and clear them out so every week I went in and I would just buy one and I would leave and I'll come back the next weekend and I would buy one and I'm like somebody's gonna come in realize this product is amazing and wipe them out never happened I bought one off until the last two were left and I just bought the last two all right guys like comment subscribe for more content like this I'm coming to you next with Wax and fees, actually. Have a great day.